guys. Thanks for using the channel today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, with the new Snook Family Customs era uh, direction that we're going with the channel, today we're going to be making a wood bowl. Uh, the wood bowl is going to be made up of some scrap wood I found in my garage. I've got three pieces, so that gives me about a, let's say it's about three, three and a half inch deep bowl. You know, standard cereal size bowl. You know, nothing too extravagant. I am still learning on the lathe. Um, I do have three other blanks, which are not the exact same size. They're a little smaller. So, you know, make a matching set of two uh, bowls to go with this. So, what we're going to do today, uh, get some gloves on and uh, get them glued up. And then once I have them glued up and clamped, we'll leave them overnight. Uh, come back to them tomorrow and uh, turn them on the lathe and see what we can do for a bowl. So, anyway, hope you enjoy. So, first thing, we need a pair of gloves. Nah, I didn't like that sound. Let's try that again. No, next. No, one more time. I think we got it this time. Alright. And for the other one. Perfect. Now we can glue them together. clamped up. I don't see any gaps and if I do the majority of them are in the corners which will be knocked off when we true it up on the lathe. All right guys so it's been sitting for a couple days had to take care of some other items so now that it's been sitting for a couple days now we're gonna undo this. I went ahead and added another piece to it there's three different kinds of wood on here now I think I have oak birch and pine. Um, if any of those wood types are wrong, please feel free to let me know. Um, actually looking at a different side, it may just be three really dirty but off-cut pieces of pine. I, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, these were just scraps I had in my garage. So now, uh, let's see. What do you think? I think we go in on the thicker side, or we leave that as our rim since that's the most square piece. And we go in on the bottom side since that's, yeah, I, I see we'll, we'll attach the plate to that side. So there's our plate. Let's go ahead and find the center with our new center finder.
go. One nice bowl. Now you'll notice I changed the bottom as I was uh, hollowing it out. I didn't have the uh, Novichuk tight enough to hold on to it so it flew off, broke a little piece off and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go the opposite and make a little tenon like that instead of the other one where I pull out. Um, considering I was dealing with extremely dry wood I can understand why it cracked due to vibration. But as you can tell it's all nice and polished inside and out. Oh, nice little bowl made of three, sorry, four pieces of scrap wood, one of which was a two by six. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, for it only being my, I think this is only my third item off the lathe to date, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, it does have a little character to it. Right here, it has a crack. Let's see if I can't get the camera to zoom in on that for you. It's got a crack right there. And that crack while sanding went all the way through to the top. So I ended up having to take some uh, CA glue, um, which you can probably tell on the shine on the outside. The CA glue shines a little differently with the uh, shell wax on top of it. And then there's one on the opposite side as well, right there. Um, but it's got some character. I like it. Um, you, you can't fault the wood for going the way it wants to go. Uh, it turned out really nice. Um, I think I have an idea. I think I'm going to try on a couple of the small pieces of scrap wood I have before I start using my good wood. I'm going to try making some uh, little tea light candle holders. They're simple, they're round, they have a square, uh, a round flat bottom inside. Uh, it should make for some uh, some nice easy turning. You know, just make a little set of like three or something, stick them on the Etsy page. So, if you want to buy this bowl, you're more than welcome to. Um, haven't decided on what the pricing is going to be for it yet. I do have a lot of personal time into it. However, just starting out, I get that I'm not going to be the fastest guy on the lathe. And I do have a basic lathe, so it's not going to be too expensive. But, if you want to buy it and you like the character it has, and you want a one-off, Feel free to click the link below. It'll take you right to the Etsy page that this is posted on. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching it. the video. Thank you for your interest in my items, in my family, in our lives. We love making the videos for you. Um, we love sharing with you guys. And feel free to talk back to us more. On some of the newer videos, we haven't received as much talk back as I used to on my laser videos. Uh, mostly because you guys were calling me crazy because I was using a mirror inside of a CO2 laser. Uh, pointing it back at my camera, not my eyeballs. But hey, uh, got to be a little crazy to, to be a single dad of four kids. So anyway, thank you again for watching. Take it away, Cosmo. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.